the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Well, the elders in my community were very concerned about treaty violations, and they concluded that we need to go to the international arena to try and get our treaties honored and respected. And from that initiative became the, the negotiations on the UN Declaration, which resulted in the adoption of the Declaration by the Human Rights Council and then the General Assembly. When we reflect back on the 27 years of work on the Declaration, we are very encouraged. The dream of our elders in the past is now there and being implemented uh, back home. Paradigm shift to the recognition of Indigenous rights. Learn it, live it, love it. Under threat has been our freedom on our land and territories. And after extensive negotiations and, and failed negotiations, we uh, looked up to strategic litigation. We leaned on the opportunities that internationally established normatives, such as the Declaration, offers to indig indigenous people. It formed a central part of our argument. And the highest court of Belize, the Supreme Court, and the Caribbean Court of Justice have uh, agreed that there is an obligation on the government under the spirit of the declaration to ensure that the customary rights, the collective rights of the Maya people ought to be protected under the constitution equal to any other forms of protection of property guaranteed to all Belizeans. We were going against logging concession, oil companies, huge land sales. We have seen a drastic reduction in those kind of infringement. So there's a lot to be grateful to the legal formation that we've been able to achieve. We are still using the declaration as a minimum standard for engagement. We've now developed a Maya consultation framework. That's just one step in the process of self-determination. Indigenous community winning a case against the government was unbelievable in Kenya. The county government of Baringo are recognizing us as one of the stakeholders in management of Lake Bogoria. We are working hand in hand in developing community management plan because uh, we had our traditional knowledge on how we, we used to manage this lake before the, the government affected us. We were identified that there is an indigenous community called Endorais and we are proud of that. We could not imagine being recognized and we appreciate African Commission to have considered this landmark case. Getting our land back and uh, having uh, community people negotiating for the process was achievement to us. The Okie, they are like our brother and sister. They were inspired by, by how uh, our rights to our land was guaranteed. They suffer almost the same kind of injustice and they decided to take the case to African court and they won. The Awatupua Act is the outcome of negotiated settlement over a very long period of time between the Crown and the Iwi or tribes of the Whanganui River. The innovation is that the Act confers legal personality on the river itself. The declaration is being used in New Zealand to explain the intentions of the Treaty of Waitangi and to that extent the conferment of legal personality on a river which recognises its entitlement to respect and health and well-being fit entirely in with the articles of the Declaration. There is no sense of ownership. Ko o te awa, ko te awa, ko o. I am the river and the river is me. We try to protect our rights, territories and natural resources by demanding free prior informed consent with coal mining companies. For us to have a stronger voice, we also use the declaration to push for our rights within third. The UN declaration has been a living document for us as indigenous peoples. The government has not done its part to promote and enhance awareness of the declaration. So indigenous peoples have done that. They have done trainings, they have produced materials for that purpose. It has enabled the uh, production of an FPIC guide for Sabah uh, to monitor 
uh, implementation of rights? The aim of the Nordic Sami Convention is to adapt Andri uh, to the situations in the Nordic states for the Sami people. That means amongst other things, recognizing in a legally binding document that the Sami people have a right to self-determination. Which is implemented through the Sami parliaments. And it has also articles on education, Sami languages, and the most important ones on Sami land rights and resource rights. The declaration has inspired drafting the Sami Convention and the Convention contains principles of the Declaration. Well, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in Canada is as a result of the largest class action lawsuit where children were removed from parents and uh, the consequences of doing that to children over their lifetime. Where we went across the country listening to stories about children put into residential schools. A very tragic, sad history of physical, mental, cultural, spiritual, and worst of all, sexual abuse. But from this dark chapter, we found a bright way, a bright light, I think, to find a solution going forward. How do we restore respectful relationships? And one of the ways we believe is by using the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples as a framework for reconciliation. So that now people, as they uh, implement the UN Declaration are feeling a sense of justice, a sense of healing from the past harm, because now the truth is out there. Nos ha servido como una herramienta de reivindicación de derechos para nosotros los pueblos indígenas y en ese sentido hemos podido negociar un plan de salud regional diferenciado para la juventud y niñez indígena de América Latina y el Caribe. We use the declaration as a foundation tool and advocacy looking at the ground to reach to persons with disabilities to ensure their rights. We are using the declaration as much as possible at the local level and in the international level as well to defend our rights as human beings in relation to climate change. Ha permitido al Estado a entender o al menos detener o pensar dos veces antes de entrar a un territorio indígena. En el cadre de los acuerdos de paz en Mali, los negociadores Tuareg, issus de movimientos, se han inspirado de ciertos artículos de la Declaración. La declaración hace parte de la Constitución. Esto ha sido un cambio en los pueblos indígenas. Ahora que eh, negocian, hablan, dialogan con el Estado, eh, se sienten empoderados. Nos avons la ley. Il manque encore le test d'application pour la mise en œuvre. Very exciting uh, to see how indigenous peoples are using the UN Declaration to advance our historic struggles. Our chiefs always says. It's not the ceiling, but it's the floor. And it's the floor we never had before to stand on. 